next month, I'm going to be leaving home for three months. I'm going to be leaving my family and my two children. I'm going to start training as a military chaplain. And the training all happens on the East Coast, and my family lives on the West Coast. And so for these three months, we aren't going to see each other. We'll be doing what military families have done for ages, to be away from each other. And I'm not going to be doing anything dangerous. Um, I'm not going to be uh, across the world. I'll just be across the country doing something that I love, uh, training in the safety of, you know, some amazing training facilities. But, but what is true about all of that, even though it's, you know, it's wonderful and I'm looking forward to it, is that, you know, the familiarity of my home life and my family life will not be there. You know, I, all the things that seem to be, uh, you know, that are happening now have a different kind of weight, a certain kind of poignancy to them where, you know, I make a meal and I think, gosh, next month at this time, I won't be making this meal. Uh, next month at this time, I won't be helping you with this homework. I won't be driving you to school. I, you know, all these things that make our family life pulse. I just won't be a part of in the same way. And I know they're going to miss me and I know I'm going to miss them. And, you know, as I imagine it, you know, me being out of the picture here, I imagine that that we'll all do what military families have done for for ages is that we will eventually get into a rhythm of, you know, being in our new roles and relating from a distance and 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 we'll just get into a groove with it for a little while and before we know it, you know, we'll be back together again. But I, I am aware that during this time when we're talking about the love of familiar, it it you know, it brings up for me, you know, this question of of how are we relating to the places and people that that call us forward? You know, if we're lucky in our life, we have relationships and places that we feel really connected to and that we really love. And we, we get a great deal of satisfaction out of nurturing these relationships and these communities. And so to be completely away from them is, you know, it's a shock. But the question that comes up for me is how do we have a sense of ourselves that's beyond just, you know, what's mirrored back to us of, of the things that we, the places and people and things that we love in the world. There's a Buddhist teaching on detachment, having a sense of our being as being something that is not just sourced in the the people and places and things around us, but has much deeper roots. That we are rooted really in, uh, uh, you know, our, our sense of being comes from a much more vast place, a much more vast connection to the universal whole than it does to any one person or place or thing, certainly, that, that could be around us, no matter how much we love or feel called by that one person, place, or thing. And so these questions become pretty clear when we're completely taken out of what we're comfortable with. So when is a time that you have felt shaken from what you know, from what is familiar? when you have uh, had to really reach for uh, a new sense of who you are, to be grounded in a new way when the familiar ground of your being is gone. That is a lesson that I think I am going to be learning in the month to come. Not only will I be away from the familiarity of my family, but I'll be immersed in military life, which is going to be a whole new culture for me. I'll be learning about saluting and wearing uniforms, and I'm pretty comfortable as a chaplain, but doing chaplaincy within a military setting will be a new thing for me. And so cheers to all things new. May the new things in your life be a source of learning, uh, and may your heart be open to new things such that they are able to be teachers and call you forward into new ways of being in the world and in the universe and in yourself. Amen. <laughs>